Do your students want to know how math connects with their real lives outside the classroom? G'day, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Professor Pete's Classroom. Welcome to Math in the News for another week. This week, the article we're looking at is entitled 10 Times Aussie Supermarkets Failed at Math. In Australia, we have two main supermarkets that are in fierce competition with each other called Woolworths or Woolies and Coles. And of course, like all shops everywhere, they offer specials all the time to attract buyers and to attract more sales. And most shoppers like specials. I know when I go shopping, I look out for the big yellow ticket that says this is cheaper than it usually is. And if it's something I like, you know, I'll I'll buy it. This is a really nice article that you could use with your students almost without changing it because it's about the mathematics behind their special offers and it's actually as the title implies 10 times where these supermarkets actually got the mathematics wrong. They got it so spectacularly wrong and so clearly wrong that your students will be able to pick it. So this article would fit really nicely with a topic about um, maths in the marketplace, math when shopping, um, getting the best deal, identifying the best price from a range of offers, that sort of thing. Here are some examples that I've printed off and I'm going to make these pictures available um, on our website so you can follow the links below the video. So here's the first one, it's toilet tissue at $4, it says save $2.49, that's not a bad special, but underneath that it says now half price at $4. Well someone's made a mistake, either it was $8 before or it's not half price, your students will be able to pick that and of course come up with suggestions, so the activity that I'll put together to go with this video and you know to support our members on our website um, will be around students thinking of new offers. How would you present this if it's four dollars? You know, um, how could you market it? What sort of offer could you make people? Here's another example, some Jats crackers for two dollars forty. Apparently it's a bit hard to see but the boxes are damaged. The crackers themselves are probably fine. But on the shelf it says that they're already on special. They were three dollars. They're now thirty percent off at two dollars but the broken packet ones are $2.40. Clearly someone wasn't thinking straight when they did that one. And again, students will come up, will be able to come up with some new ideas. Here's some baby Brussels, $1.50 for 200 grams, but underneath that is a per kilo price and the person who's worked it out has got it completely wrong. That's a little tricky, I suppose. 200 grams as a fraction of a kilogram, what do you have to do to convert $1.50, you know. But they should have been able to do it. So as I say, I'm sure that your students will be able to understand what's going on. Um, it's actually not a bad um, example of just human failings. We all make mistakes, as we say, so we shouldn't be too harsh on these supermarket workers. They're probably on a low wage and someone said, there, go and put out some tickets, um, you know, and they made some mistakes. But the article, as I said, has got lots, it's got 10 examples in all, all with graphics, simple commentary. Your students will be able to um, really have some fun with it, I think, and really understand the mathematics behind it. What do you do in your classroom? Do you do shopping math? Do you talk about how to use the math that they're learning in the classroom in their outside lives, outside the classroom? Do leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say and start a conversation below the video. If this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, do subscribe. There's a button here or there's links below the video and that way you get notifications when new videos come out. This particular silly series, Math in the News, I'm releasing a new one every week. So I really hope that you enjoy them and that you find them useful. Again, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear that. Um, meanwhile, there's other links over here if you'd like to watch another video straight away. There's um, some other videos from the catalog over there. That's it from me for this week. I look forward to talking to you next time, but that's it. Bye for now.